As violence, poverty and discrimination against women spiral out of control in Afghanistan under Taliban, even the UN has expressed its incapability at bringing things under control. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has said that it would be no less than a fantasy if anyone believed that the world body could prevent an impending Afghan crisis. Taliban have had just one month into the so-called government and the instability is already looming large. With promised women rights going up in smoke, the education system facing a Sharia bulldozer and the economy plunging to an unprecedented low, the future of Afghanistan appears bleak. While a large section of the international community has not been able to take a clear stand on the situation, the United Nations believes that it is beyond its capacity to control what is happening in Afghanistan. Asked in an interview a month after the Taliban took control of Afghanistan from a Western-backed government, if he felt pressure to repair the country's plight, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres said the expectation from the UN body was unfounded. I think there is uh, an expectation that is unfounded. I mean, we have a number of countries that have used hundreds of thousands of soldiers for decades, that have spent trillions uh, for decades. And uh, to think that uh, even if they have failed with all these resources to fix the problems of Afghanistan, the UN can now, without that money and without those forces, the UN can now solve the problems that they didn't solve for uh, decades, is of course a fantasy. Meanwhile, the UN High Commissioner for Refugees asked for more support as he described Afghanistan's humanitarian crisis as desperate. During this three-day visit, United Nations Filippo Grandi was shown around a warehouse filled with relief items. Trucks arrived from Pakistan with tents and other supplies for Afghan families as food and medicine have been scarce. Even before the Taliban took over last month, Grandi said in a written statement, more than 18 million Afghans, or about half the population, required humanitarian aid. More than 3.5 million Afghans were already displaced in a country that is battling drought and the COVID-19 pandemic. In the last few months alone, hundreds of thousands, more than half a million Afghan have been freshly displaced by recent fighting, adding themselves to the millions uh, that were displaced in previous years. Many of them are sleeping out of, in the open. Food is very scarce in the country. Medicines are lacking. The situation from the humanitarian point of view is pretty desperate. International donors have pledged to assist the country with over a billion dollars, but that does not seem enough for a country of 36 million people. And with no foreign aid at the moment, the situation is getting worse. Even those migrants who have been living in Pakistan and support Taliban rule are pessimistic about returning to their homeland. They believe the economic situation is not returning to anything near normal in the immediate future. Meanwhile, the elephant in the room, the situation of women in the country has taken a back seat with not much being talked about the principal argument and the promise around the women during the peace talks. They have been immediately subjected to the previous draconian Sharia law. Even the renowned and successful football team are forced to leave in such a scenario, let alone the commoners who are living hundreds of kilometers away from the capital in far-flung areas where neither the media has reached nor it is likely to reach.
They however have shown resistance this time around, some of them via social media, while others oppose the brutes on the streets right in front of them.